greetings and salutations everybody welcome back once again or for the very first time to the thoughts and crap show where today as per usual it's your host anjo here with part 48 of tears of the kingdom my for her run and on today's episode we're not going to be doing story time like we did last time and uh <laughs> we are going to be focusing on the main quest which this is one of the main, main quests. Uh, one of the regional phenomena, the one for the Hebra region slash Rito village, Tulin of Rito village, specifically. Though you didn't find Princess Zelda where Tulin said she'd be, you heard a disembodied voice say, come to me. Inside the cloud, you discovered a great ship, which looks like the one from the Song of the Stormwind Ark, which looks like something from a song i guess something described in a song is this mysterious voice guiding tulin into the cloud so that's what we're going to be doing on today's episode and we're pretty much right there this the game is auto saving to ahoy And as a reminder, yes, I am doing the Japanese voiceover because I kind of prefer it for a lot of the characters. We are very high above the clouds right now. I think this is one of the highest points in the game, actually. So let's, wow, watch the frame rate just dive. Get right in there. Dog. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. I know this guy's gonna try to amp. Come on. What you do? Aww. Okay. Alright, that's fair. I figured we'd be transitioning into a cutscene. Or a scripted event, I guess. In engine cutscene, I suppose. Wow. So this is. Uh. Tulin kinda sounded like this, yeah. When I was doing his voice. Right. Wow. So this is what was waiting for us in that huge cloud. This is the Stormwind Arc from the kids song. Huh? Huh? No shit. Fucking princess. Huh? Uh. I mean, I guess he voiced that part. What the? That this proves it, Link. The blizzard that's been pounding Rito Village. Hot. It's coming from there. Oh yeah. Didn't I see someone here a minute ago? Yeah, that was obviously. Come on. You didn't recognize her. Weird. I could swear they were just here. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, do I still have to fight the... Oh, oh there he is. Oh. Works out for me. I need Aracuta materials, so... It's just gonna be windy. No surprise, the wind temple. The wind temple is windy? What? Yeah. Also cold? What? Uh, the other cool thing about fire weapons is you can actually melt ice just by being near it. It's pretty cool. Pretty nifty schnifty, ma'am. Mm. 
kind of want that. Didn't I already pick up another? I did. It was this one. Yeah, there's so many spears. Should I actually get rid of something? I mean, this one's got durability at plus, so I kind of don't want to get rid of that. And that one's pretty powerful. So I kind of don't want to get rid of that. It's, um... And they're really... What's the thing I have been using as my main melee weapon? Oh, am I between weapons right now? Did it break? Oh, there's this one. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was using. Which, ironically... Is the same power. Which I believe counts as situational ir ir irony. But. Mighty Zonite Spear, Soldier Construct 4. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be better than. a gnarled stick. As far as durability goes, so yeah, we can go ahead and get rid of that. I'll take it. I just don't want spears right now. I got so many spears, bro. So many. And like, if I switch to something else, I'm going to be cold, right? Which I guess I need another hammer. Oh, wait, you know what? Before I get rid of this... Oh, I'm actually not cold. Oh. Do I even need that? What? Is it just because I'm inside right now? And there's like... A torch? Maybe? I don't know. All right, let's find out. Yeah, I'm cold because yeah, we're wow, it dropped. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to have to make this a little bit shorter. Than the other ones. So, it's fine though. We've had some longer ones lately. So, let's just go ahead. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to need one level of cold resistance and the fire weapon. Or two levels of cold resistance and whatever but i do need oof okay yeah let's do it that way um we'll go yeah let's just use this until it breaks right mm, yeah yeah, let's do that. I'm assuming I'm supposed to talk to Tulin. Okay, so this is where the blizzard has been coming from. How do we stop it? Well... About that. I have some ideas. Hmm... It's like it's shut tight. 
The source of the blizzard has got to be right under the hatch. Isn't there some way we can get it open? Hmm. <gasps> that sound, there it is again. うん。Oh, there we go. Voiceover is done, apparently. Okay, I heard it for sure this time. It's calling out to me loud and clear. The source of the blizzard messing up the village has got to be under this hatch. Um, can I just I need to put this somewhere? Alright, there we go. Um, if that voice was right, it'll open once we find a way to release all five locks. We're so close. Come on, Link, let's go figure out how to open those locks. Mm-hmm. And maybe also get some nauseous. <laughs> I believe that's the thing that goes with nosh. I, 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 I think it's like a food thing. Uh, are you strong as... Oh, he's pretty strong. Okay. Okay, so this bow looks pretty promising. Durability at plus, dog. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah, we gotta hit all five locks. Um, can change world map, dungeon map with X. Okay, cool. And from here, I think this was the room I already checked, right? Yeah, so we have to get to the other side. Just need to. Oh, you know what? Since that's still in there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this for a second. And drop. Grab. Actually, take this with. I just don't want to go, like, too far away from it and have it despawn. Alright, now I don't really care if it does or not. But, since over here seems to be maybe a safe area for it, I'm just gonna leave it just right here, because I'm assuming what we have to do... No. I might need to destroy this thing. Don't know if that's the sitch. I 
think I need to be further away from it. There we go. Ah. Uh, apparently, that's not how you do that. It is how you destroy them, but that is not how you get to that room. Don't think... No, because I went around. There was no entrance. I think I remember this. I think it's on the side, I want to say. That's not it. I think I can safely switch to... Right? Yeah. be the exact same. So let's go ahead and drop that and grab that. It is. Okay, cool. So I'll just use that now. Just be a time bomb. Okay, so we won't be able to climb across. So let's try this. Mm, I mean, I could climb across. be better. Let's try dropping that and drop this as well. I mean, it's the same. It's got durability up plus, which is nice. This is durability up plus as well. A stone shard made it a guster? Really? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, not what I meant. Uh, destroy fuse material. There we go. Alright, so I'll just keep that because, yeah, durability at plus would be preferable. Um, and what was the other one I picked up? This one. There we go. Ooh, a ruby. Oh, to make a fire weapon. I think that's what they wanted. 
So... Oh, there's a lever. Okay, so we just need to fuse something to it, right? I mean, I could just use the spear, probably. I think the idea is you're supposed to use an icicle, but I don't see any icicles. what the deal is with that. Alright, so this is my hammer for now, so I'm just gonna do that. I think this is the vibe. Just go up, right? actually really good. Uh, it'd be better than the gnarls. I do want to keep the durability weapons because uh, durability is kind of king. Um, I could get rid of the spear. I have other spears. I mean, we do have plenty of one-handed weapons. Yeah, I guess the gnarled wooden stick would be the odd man out there. Because that's... Yeah, a mighty Zonite sword and a Captain Cron Construct four horn. Like, that's good. Isn't this also a mighty... Yeah, it is. Oh, it increases the power. Okay, so it's adding the bonus to... Okay, because it says 27 because attack up plus 7, that's on the base part of it. So it would be 17, and then it got a bonus 10 because they fused Captain Construct 4 horn. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm still going to continue using this for now. I think I just need to rotate this? Why can't I grab it? Do I need to recall it? Apparently not. Um, I mean, I just need to rotate it, right? So anything would work? Oh, he's up there. Okay, I was gonna say I heard that. What?
yeah, look at that. That enemy that we just defeated was about to loot, Tulin. Hey, look at that. Uh -huh. Is this for one of the locks? It's kind of shaped like a windmill. Or a turbine, but you probably don't know what that is. So that makes sense why you didn't say turbine. Uh, what is this? That's also a lattice? Uh, it's more of a grate, dude. Mm. <laughs> oh no, it's a dam. Dam. Oh, it's a grate. Great. <laughs> okay, and then... There we go. I'll just also do the in these kind of situations like if it's not a cutscene I'll just do the voice like after the thing because you know I feel like for the cutscene it's like kind of part of the scene you know but for this it's just like dialogue I guess I don't know let me know what you guys think um but anyway hey Link Sing opened one of the four locks. We gotta find the other four. Yeah. Is that the one that... Yeah, this is that same door. Okay, this is that same room. And go figure, the spear is gone. Because I went too far away. Cool. I was pretty sure that was the way to do this one. Yeah, so... Good deal. Oh, and it tells you what level they're on. Oh, that's cool. That's handy, actually. Oh, and you have the map for the various levels. Oh, it makes things way easier. I didn't realize you could do that. Okay. Well then. So that one's on the lowest level. I think that one's actually really easy to grant. You just kind of go out and glide and come back in. It's right there. Just on the bottom of the ship, basically. You got two of them on the side... Which it kind of looks like these are connected, but who knows? Uh, it seems like this one would be pretty easy. You just go out this side and go in over here, or probably over here. This one is not connected. I went in through there, but I guess you just go in through here. This one is a little... I'm not sure about this one. It's like on the top level. So I'll probably start with that one. Uh, that'll be the next episode, though, because like I said, I gotta wrap this up early. And yeah, but we're on our way. One of five locks, so. All right. So yeah, that's what we'll do in the next episode. Uh, we're doing totally fine for weapons and yeah. Everything's going well. I haven't had to use a fairy yet. Or really any of the food. I am missing a quarter of a heart, so I guess I could just eat an apple real quick. But, um... Yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, of course, before we get going... A very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novell Straconis, Don Sabino, WTF Corey, who gifted some of these. Thank you very much for that. Also, Big Diary Dump, Dynactin, JSpot51, Autumn Mayfield, Sweet Gaming, and Aaron Schick. Thank you all so, so much for choosing to support the show more directly via channel membership. It massively helps out. And um, since we recently hit the milestone of 10 channel members, uh, like simultaneously active um yeah next retro classic series coming in mid early may is going to be ad free at least for the duration of the series uh if this episode is coming out in april which i think it might be uh there is still time to vote on said uh, members choice poll that will dis be deciding what that series is so whatever gets the most votes from channel members becomes that new series. 
So yeah, tier start at three bucks a month. It's only ten cents a day. Gets you into all that basic stuff, and um, that's over on the membership tab. Uh, you can also just hit the join button. It'll redirect you. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to stay up to date on all the announcements here on the channel, you can try the bell. I know it doesn't work for a lot of people, um, but if you keep an eye on the community tab here on the channel, the Farts and Crap Show Twitter or the Discord, I always post on all three whenever there's an announcement. Um, usually over on the Twitter, it's the pinned tweet is usually the most recent announcement. Uh, over on the Discord, it's the channel updates channel. Uh, that's all the announcements, including like the going live notifications and everything. But yeah, that is going to do it for today. So once again, guys, thanks for being here. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.